Okay, hi guys. So, this week has been kind of a rough week. <laughs> this is the second time I've recorded this video. The first time, well, <laughs> I was stumbling all over my words, which that's pretty typical. But the second thing is that I tried to record a second time, and the whole thing just, well, magically disappeared into the ether. Who knows where. But anyway, the things that I wanted to talk about this week is how to go about critiquing your work. I thought that would be fun to do this with a video of seeing my process of working through this poster that I did this past week. So, in regards to critiquing, I would encourage you guys to leave your questions, comments uh, in the uh, comments bar as always and let's get started so there's kind of seven points in terms of critiquing your artwork and the first and foremost number one would be to be attentive in other words what i mean by being att attentive is to pay attention to the details now let's say for example that you're critiquing your own work you're by yourself you're working in your studio or wherever you work and you look at your work and you think it's pretty good or whatever and but you're not you feel like maybe you could be better or you need improvement or you're looking for improvement but you're not quite sure where to start well one really simple technique actually it's top secret pro tip here is to actually turn your work upside down look at it from a new set of eyes take 20 minutes away from your work or whatever that might be and then turn your work upside down and take a fresh look at it. When you look at it upside down, more likely you're going to see all sorts of details that you hadn't seen before. I, and this would be going back to just in general in terms of uh, critiquing other work or other people's work, is that when you look out those details, you would see things like, for example, Maybe you, there was a, a tangent that you didn't see before. Um, maybe there was, uh, you're looking for the overall, if it's an illustration, the story, what type of story is. If you like the content and you like to see more, please consider joining our Subscribestar group. You'll find the link in the description below. There that we'll have content exclusively to that group on art tutorials and illustration, art and business, and other tools that will be provided on a weekly basis.